which is a traditional sake in Japan. It's still warm and crispy. <laughs> Ryan's TV. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan. Yes, finally today I came to Asakusa, Tokyo. So happy to be here. Well, if it's on the weekday, there are so many people and a lot of foreigners. You know, I've been here and there are so awesome market inside and there are so many good food. So today I'm gonna try each of them and tell you how it tastes like. All right, so let's go inside. Asakusa is one of the most popular spots to travel. There is a temple called Sensoji and a market called Nakamise Dori Street. Many Japanese junior high school in the countryside, they make a school trip to this place. Recently, there are many travelers from outside of Japan. I believe people who wear kimono. 90% of them are from foreign countries. So I'm inside the Sensoji. Inside the Sensoji, there is Asakusa Nakamise shopping street. This street, there are many shops and souvenir stores, which is really good. Okay, so let's check inside. Look at that. Well, they sell the unfiltered hot sake, which looks pretty good and smells good as well. And the price is also 130 Japanese yen, which is pretty cheap, I think. All right, so let me try that. First, I got the amazake, which means the sweet sake. So it's unfiltered sake. Smells good. And then this is a traditional sake in Japan. Mm. I can feel the rice flavor, obviously. I mean, not so much alcohol. Maybe it's because this is a hot sake, so I don't feel that much, but I like it. Well, so actually, Nakamise Dori, that street, you can eat and walk. So that's why I came to the street behind. Oh, there is mochi as well. Looks pretty good. This sake was only 130 Japanese yen, which I think it's pretty cheap. So, yeah, it's like buying coke from a vending machine. Ah, okay. All right, so let's go back to the Nakamise Dori. Wow, look at this one, it's so cute. It's all made by candy. Wow, so that's a sushi, huh? Well, this looks much better than what I made it, the candy sushi. That one tastes pretty bad, but I'm pretty sure this one tastes pretty good and it's a good souvenir. All right, so let's check more. Look at this. It's a tsuburang, which is a red bean paste. They just cook the mochi, put the red bean paste on it. It looks so yummy. Okay, so let me eat it. You know, it's really sticky and good. This mochi itself is not that sweet, but this red bean paste, so sweet and good. I love it. And also, look at this. I got a tiny tea as well. My favorite one is this tsuburan, which is a red bean paste, and or the mitarashi, it's, which is a sweet soy sauce. Both are good. Yeah, so if you come over here, maybe you should try to eat the one. Mmm, I love it. Alright, so let's eat more. Well, look at that. Oh, it looks pretty interesting. So let's check inside the store. Oh, there are so many veggies and fruits. Look at this apple right here. Oh, it's an apple part. There are many fruit samples in this store. Each of them looks so real, but expensive as well. Look at this one. It's a pizza hat. Actually, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> well, look at this one. It's a fresh made tembe, which is a rice cracker with wasabi soy sauce. Mm. It's still warm and crispy. I love it. Well, and also I can feel the strong wasabi flavor, which I love. 
Hmm. Thinking about 100 Japanese yen for this, maybe it's kind of expensive, but I've never tried a fresh rice cracker. So, I love it. Alright, so let's take more. And this is the main temple, end of the street. That was pretty good, huh? There are so many souvenir streets and good food. So, if you come over to Tokyo, I think Asakusa is a really good place to visit. Alright, so this video pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please thumbs up. And also please check my other videos as well. Thank you very much. Arigato. So, bye bye.